Today we're talking about home expressions and home idioms. Right now we're in my hometown for the holidays. This is the city where I was born and spent the first 15 years of my life. And after that I moved to the US. But because we're here, because this is still my home, uh, we are doing some expressions about uh, home and idioms about home. How does it feel to be home? Uh, it's okay. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> so Yuana is going to give us the grand tour of Timishwada. Whoa, Jesus, what's going on? <laughs> Attack of the pigeons. The first expression I want to talk to you about is home sweet home. And this is something we say after maybe we've been traveling a little bit and we finally get home and we have that nice feeling that we belong in this place. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. This is it. Home sweet home. This is my place, Bobby. Home sweet home. Do you feel home sweet home? Uh, I feel home. <laughs> <laughs> Another expression that is very similar in meaning to home sweet home is there is no place like home. And this means that home is the best place where you can be. It doesn't matter how far and wide you travel, you always love to come back home. I believe this comes from The Wizard of Oz. Uh, it's a quote about Kansas when Dorothy traveled to Oz and she kept wanting to go back to Kansas. There's no place like home. I don't understand why Dorothy wanted to go back to Kansas because honestly Oz sounds like a much better place but whatever to Dorothy there is no place like home there's no place like home what happens in the movie what is she in the movie I don't know in the book she ends up going back to Kansas how she with her silver shoes I don't have I'm not Dorothy no place like home you're supposed to click them oh <laughs> I don't know why she does it. I think she like jumps up and then says, there's no place like home. That looked like a jumping jack. There's no place like home. 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 There is no place like home. Probably one of my all time favorites is there. Wait, what's the expression? Oh, the home is worth <laughs> another great expression, which is probably one of my favorites, is home is where the heart is. And this has nothing to do with a physical place, but everything to do with inside. And what I mean to say by that is, any place you are in the world that you love or any person that you're with that you love, you feel home with them, you feel comfortable with them, you love that place and it feels good, it feels right, and that's what it means. Home is where the heart is. The next expression I want to talk to you about is a homebody. It's really just a word. A homebody is a word used to describe a person who likes to stay home. They don't like traveling, they don't like maybe going out, uh, being social. They just like to stay home, be cozy with a blanket and a book maybe. Uh, that's a homebody, just somebody who really enjoys staying home. He's pretty much a homebody, I guess you'd say. Well, I, uh, I'm pretty much of a homebody, Danny. I, I spend a lot of time with my uh, family. No, we're really more homebodies. <laughs> if you want to be a homebody, we're going to have a house party. That big building in front of us. The Opera House? What? The Opera House. This is how the people of Tim Shadow get their water. Should we should we go by there? Because we haven't been. Our next expression is nothing to write home about. And to put it in one word, it kind of means meh. <laughs> Which, it's usually when we're talking about reviews, like we're reviewing a movie that we saw or we're talking about a drink that you've just tried and somebody asks you, how was it? And you say, eh, nothing to write home about. It just means it wasn't horrible, but it wasn't great either. It was just kind of eh. <laughs> nothing to write home about. Might just get a light dust and that's all, nothing to write home about. Crystalline. 
mostly inert. Nothing to write home about. But these, it's just a few bruises. Nothing to write home about. It's just a flesh wound, honestly. Nothing to write home about. Our next expression is something that hits home. And this means something that you can resonate with, something that you can relate to. For example, if somebody makes a comment and you have maybe a childhood experience with that, you can say it just really hits home. It means that it affected you and you can really resonate with that. And many, many times it is negative. It hits home. Exactly. That's what you said that really hit home. So that hits even closer to home. Pop's lesson hitting a little close to home. Nope. What he's saying has nothing to do with me. Her next expression is a home away from home. And this refers to a place. It's a place that is not physically your home, but just a place that feels very, very comfortable, just like home does. And it can be, you know, if you're living in another country, uh, that can be your home away from home. Another example is if somebody is always working and they really, really, really enjoy working, maybe their office is their home away from home. I like your room. Thanks a lot. It's kind of a home away from home for me, really. I'm heading to New York City, my home away from home. This is my home away from home. Imagine running into you here of all places. This is our home away from home. Another home expression is home team. And this is a sports expression. And it means it usually refers to some kind of sports team that is in your hometown. Uh, whether it's basketball, baseball, football, soccer, whatever, uh, your home team is the team that is from your hometown. What's Timisoara's home team? Oh gosh, it's Poli, Poli Timisoara. It's a football, a soccer team. All right, are you a big fan? I no. <laughs> no. It's your home team. Yeah, home team. Well, you're rooting for the home team, Chief. Rooting for the home team, Colson. I was on Star Trek, just rooting for the home team. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this video about home expressions and home idioms and now we want to hear from you. So please, please, please in the comments below tell us about your hometown. Things you like about it, what's there to do. Please share, we always love hearing uh, about our students and their lives and culture. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye. Wait, yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that again. So today, no. So it's the holidays, so we are home for I don't know what I was going to say. It's filming. <laughs> Homebody is a word. <laughs> what is there to do? Uh... <laughs> Wait, what am I doing?